Hello, welcome to the third video on integration by parts. In this video, actually, no, this is the fourth video, sorry. In this video, we are looking at examples of problems that can we can use the technique of integration by parts on. Um, and this, the new wrinkle in this problem is that what we have here in example four is what seems to be something that's very different than any of the other examples that we've done. And the reason why it's so is that there only seems to be one function, natural log of x. So how can we do u and dv? Like, how will that work? Um, be nice if we could use the shortcut, but the shortcut doesn't work. The shortcut is for when you have an exponential in a, tr uh, a polynomial or a trig in a polynomial. We don't have that here. But what we do have, though, is the hierarchy, the mnemonic, which tells us what to let u equal. And since logarithm, logarithmic functions are at the top of the list, we need to let u equal the natural log of x. So what's left for dv? Well, you know, anytime you have one function, this actually can be thought of as a product. You know, it could be 1 times the natural log of x. That's your product. And so that's what you're going to let dv eat be equal to 1 times dx. And so what do you do with u? You take its derivative. What do you do with dv? You take its integral. Well, what is the derivative of log x, natural log of x? It's 1 over x, dx. What is the integral of 1? It's x. OK, all right, great. Now, the integration by parts formula is built off of having the product of u and v and subtracting the integral on the product of v and du. And so we'll have our integral now equal to x log x and then minus the integral of x times 1 over x dx. But what happens with x times 1 over x? It's just a 1. And so we have the x log x from the uv and then minus the integral of 1 dx. This is an integral that we've done already. The integral of 1 dx is just x. And so this is an integral that comes up so often it's worth committing to memory. Uh, the integral on log x, what function has log x as its derivative? Now we know what the derivative of log x is, natural log of x, I keep saying log, but I mean natural log. Uh, the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x. But who has natural log of x as its derivative? We just found it. x log x minus x plus a constant. Now, if you wanted to, you could take the derivative of that and show that it is log x. Okay. All right, great. Let's do a second example in this video. In this video, we're going to have um, two examples. Um, I think in the next couple of videos, we only have one example, but here we go with another one involving natural log, this time a definite integral, the natural log of x divided by the square root of x dx. And we're interested in going from 4 to 9. Uh, we should have an issue with the divided by 0, but no, that's only when x is equal to 0, so we don't have to worry about that. It would be nice if there was no radical there, because then we could do a u sub. The derivative of log x is 1 over x dx. So we don't have that. It would be nice if we can use a shortcut, but it doesn't work out here because we don't have a polynomial times an exponential or a polynomial times a trig. But we do have the mnemonic that helps us figure out what to let u equal. Top of the list is logarithmic functions. We need to let u be equal to the natural log of x. Then we have dv being the rest of it, 1 over root x dx. What do you do to u? You take its derivative. What do you do to dv? You take its integral. Okay, let's work on that right now. What would be the integral of 1 over root x dx? Well, you should write it as an exponent and um, a single exponent. So we're going to write this as x to the negative 1 half. But then we just use the power rule in reverse. We add 1 to it, divide by the same thing. Negative a half plus 1 is a half. And instead of dividing by a half, we can multiply by 2. All right, great. So now we're ready to go to phase 2 here. We take the derivative of u and get 1 over x dx. We take the integral of dv, and we get exactly this guy here, 
2x to the half. Doing great. What do we do with this? We multiply u and v together, subtract the integral of the product of v and du, using the formula for integration by parts. I'm going to first treat this as if it's an indefinite integral just to get um, the full antiderivative before I then go back and plug in these original bounds and use the fundamental theorem of calculus. And so we have u times v, that's 2x to the half times natural log of x, minus the integral of v du. If you have 2x to the half and divided by x, how does that simplify? Well, the x to the half on top of x is an x to the half on the bottom, or you can just do the subtracting of exponents. 1 half minus 1 is a negative half. You can pull the negative 2 outside the integral. So we trade in our integral for a simpler integral. And often what happens is it's an integral that you did along the way <laughs> that you're trading in for. It's crazy. We've done this integral. x to the negative 1 half is in the box right above. There's an extra minus 2 multiplier on front. We'll just hold that off. And we'll replace the integral of x to the negative 1 half dx with, with, with 2 root x. Getting all the halves to be radicals. Okay. We have the full antiderivative now. It is 2 root x log x minus 4 root x. And we're ready to plug in these original bounds. 9 is the upper limit and 4 is the lower limit. Put a 9 in and put a 4 in. Upper limit minus lower limit evaluation. Root 9 is 3. Root 4 is 2. So that's going to be a 6 natural log of 9 minus a 12. And then a 4 natural log of 4 minus an 8. Nothing we need to put together here. I mean, the 12 and the 8, yes. Usually you would put together natural logs, but it's not really going to benefit as much to have the natural log of 9 to the 6 on top of the natural log of 4 to the 4. So we're just going to leave it as it is. 6 log 9 minus 4 log 4, and now minus a 4. We did it. We found the antiderivative, and we plugged in the bounds. This will be the area underneath the curve. All right. So we did two examples involving natural log. One was a bit strange because it was only the natural log function, and then this one was some work, but we just execute our function using our hierarchy. Um, execute the integration by parts formula using a hierarchy. You're able to make it through the problem. All right, don't be afraid to ask any questions. I'm here to help. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, my name is Nakai Rimmer, and uh, see you in the next video.